friends, I'm Miss Saxophone Oracle. Today we're talking about mouthpieces. Hey, what's going on here? <laughs> what's going on here? <laughs> oh, you know what I'm doing. What's going on? <laughs> Hey everyone, I'm the Saxophone Oracle. This week we're talking about purchasing a saxophone online. So purchasing an instrument sight unseen, never play tested. And this video today is inspired by my latest purchase that we will also unbox together. Generally speaking, it is never recommended to buy a horn without trying it first. Saxophones are expensive. You want to know how they sound, how they feel, how they play, their intonation tendencies before you make such a large purchase. That is, of course, unless you're me. As you know, the Saxophone Oracle is always preaching that equipment really doesn't matter. So long, of course, as long as it works and lets you do what you need it to do, right? As long as it doesn't get in your way, equipment really doesn't change much. And I've played so many horns over the years that I know the tendencies. So if I get a Selmer of a certain generation, it's going to have this tendency. If I have a certain model of Con, it's going to be like that. A King, a Martin, whatever it is. So I kind of know what I'm getting, even though I haven't tried the horn. And in, on top of that, I play well enough that if there's any little issues with tuning or resistance, or if it's a free-blowing horn, etc., I know how to deal with them. They don't, they don't phase me. It's just part of the characteristic of the horn. That being said, if you're not an experienced professional, I would not recommend buying a horn that you haven't tried. The first horn I ever bought online was a Con baritone saxophone. It was advertised as in perfect playing condition, didn't need anything, ready to go once it shows up. I didn't get a particularly good deal on it. It was a horn that I really wanted, so I paid pretty much fair market value for the horn, and, and I was excited to get it. Problem was, in shipping, the horn got severely mangled. Now, it wasn't mangled beyond repair, but this horn that was advertised as in perfect playing condition needed severe dent removal and a complete overhaul after that, and I was not expecting that. And another problem with that was the seller, not, not because I asked them to, but the person I bought the horn from thought they were doing me a favor and put the declared value of the horn as something ridiculously low, like three or $400, thinking they'd be nice and save me importation fees and, and duties and all of that that I would have to pay. Problem was, the horn got mangled. And so when it came time to make an insurance claim from the shipping company, they said, well, the value of the horn is $300, which didn't come anywhere near what it was gonna cost me to get the horn back in playing shape again. So lesson learned. Undeterred from this initial experience, I continued to buy horns online, but I changed my approach. What I would do is only buy horns that needed a complete overhaul. So that way you'd get a pretty good deal because the horn in its current state was in pretty bad playing condition or unplayable. And I already knew, you know, the tendencies, what the horn was going to end up being like. So I'd factor in the cost of a complete overhaul, whatever it is. And at the end of the day, I usually get a pretty good deal on the horn and then it'd be set up to my specifications and play just as good, if not better as brand new. So it worked out really well. And the other thing about that is if it gets damaged in shipping, it's not really a big deal because you're going to have all the work done anyway, unless of course it gets, you know, completely destroyed. The purchase that we're unboxing today, however, goes against my usual approach. I've been looking for an inexpensive alto sax for quite some time, and I came across this horn online in a Facebook group of all places. And I was really excited when I saw it because it's a really cool horn. It looks really unique. It's super cool. I've always kind of wanted one. They don't make them anymore. And I've never really had the opportunity to try one, but I think, as I remember from the reputation, they're pretty decent horns. So the price was right. I decided I would take a gamble on it. Now this horn is advertised as in good playing condition. I was told the low end will need some adjustment. There's a cork that needs to be replaced on the octave mechanism. But other than that, it's ready and, and good to go. And since it's being shipped, I knew it would need minor adjustments anyway. So, you know, I gave it a shot. This horn came halfway around the world. It was from in Singapore all the way to North America, shipped by UPS. It took about four to five business days. That's it, I was astonished. So let's see how I did. Let's unbox this thing. So this is the box that the horn showed up in, and it's wrapped in this paper outer coating. And one thing that I'm kind of impressed with is that as we can see, none of the paper is like mangled or ripped or shredded. So for me, that's a pretty good, 
pretty good indication that at least nothing terrible happened. Let's go from there. Let me get my box cutters. It says this side up, so we'll start here with my trusty box cutter and see what we've got. packing peanuts that Arthur I'm sure is going to want to eat so I'll try to make as little mess as possible pulling this out. All right. Voila. Huh. It's a good case. It's an SKB case. Look at that. I think the case the case itself might be worth the purchase of the horn. But uh, fingers crossed, we go from here. Everything is good. Um, uh, one latch, the other latch. And here's the big reveal. <laughs> Ta-da, there you go. White lacquer, vintage 1990s LA sax. How beautiful is this? Neck, there's the sax itself. Give it an initial inspection. The white coating or the lacquer is pretty well intact, not too many scratches. I was informed that there's a little dent here, but it looks pretty darn good. And it sounds pretty good. It looks like it survived in one piece. Check out the neck. Also looks pretty good. So I'm excited. Let's give it a play test and see how we did. So there you have it. A white lacquered LA sax. In the 1990s when I was a kid, these were marketed heavily. They had all kinds of funky colors to them. They famously made this presidential model. Uh, inspired by Bill Clinton. It was like red, white, and blue with stars and stripes. It was the tackiest thing you ever saw. But I always kind of liked this white one. I remember for a while Ornette Coleman was playing a white lacquered uh, Selmer. And I just thought the look is so striking with the gold lacquered bell and keywork and the white horn. Um, they were marketed as like intermediate to pro horns. Um, of course, they looked kind of funny, so the jazz snobs would ever, never touch them, but a lot of the smooth jazz, more contemporary style, you'd call it players, uh, did play these horns and endorse them, so I figured it was worth a shot. I'd give it, I'd give it a shot. I can tell you this horn is quite, quite heavy. Um, we'll have to investigate why, uh, but it, yeah, it feels really, really heavy. I'm surprised. The pads do look to be in quite excellent condition. Uh, as advertised, uh, it needs some adjustment. There are some things going on. There is uh, some corks here or there, but it is in pretty decent playing condition. So let's see how it sounds. <laughs> So there you have it. It plays quite well despite coming halfway around the world and even advertised as needing tweaking. It sounds like it plays pretty well in tune. I'll have to spend a little more time with it to, to see just how in tune, but it plays relatively easily. I think it sounds pretty good. It's a really heavy horn, but man, it's cool. I think I did really well on this purchase. I am very, very happy. I'm the Saxophone Oracle. This week we were talking about buying saxophones online, sight unseen, never play tested, and then we unboxed and tried out my brand new, to me, white lacquered 
LA sax alto saxophone, which I'm already head over and heels in love with. I hope you found this week's video interesting. If you haven't already done so, please consider subscribing, share if you like the content, uh, send me a like, that really helps this channel grow. Thank you as always for your continued support. I wish you a great, great week. Happy practicing, bye for now. There we have it, vintage 1990s LA sax in white lacquer. How beautiful is that? Looked like it survived shipping perfectly, fingers crossed. Let's go give it a play test and see how I did.